Good morning, YouTube, and happy Friday. This it will be my week five after my five after my unfell. Um, yeah, I got a little different view today. I am driving Ginger to work today, and I'm going in massively late. So, um, but I'm a little happier than in normal videos when I make them in my car on the way to work because after 40 hours of not sleeping, I was able to get in a good, I don't know, I think it was a little over eight hours. So there you have it. So as you recall last week, I gained three. Um, it was really rough on me. I'm not going to lie to anyone. And uh, let me just tell you what's been going on. Um, I'm under a tremendous amount of stress at work. Um, as I've heard me reiterate a few times, I work in the mortgage industry. And um, there's a lot of federal regulations going into play um, that are going to be coming up in the new year. So my bosses um, have a hand in that. My bosses have been traveling back and forth to uh, Washington, D.C., they are huge advocates for these small mortgage bankers. Um, so uh, they've been doing that and visiting the FHFA a lot. So I have my hand in um, assisting them with preparing all of those things when they travel. Um, we have a huge, they're going to Chicago next week for the Mortgage Bankers of Association uh, conference. So happy to get all that ready. Um, and just a lot of various other things. Sorry. Tony got the fuzz buster in the car. Just various other things going on in the office. Just a busy time of the year. All of the loan officers trying to get on and do their continuing education. And that gets all done through our website. And I'm the one that gets to listen to all of them bitch and moan when things aren't going right. So, I had a lot of stress going on. Um... Tony and I got some things going on in our lives, in our home right now, too, that uh, stress them both of us out, but uh, we're working through it. So, as you all know, I'm an emotional eater. Last week I ate my emotions uncontrollably. So I know that was where those three pounds came from. But, this week, I'm happy to report I started the five-day pouch test on Monday with Lisa. Banded, Lisa Bandit Ladybug, so check out our channel if you haven't. Um, Lisa and I have faithfully been in contact with each other all through this week, recording to each other what we're eating. Um, as soon as we start to feel an emotion to want to go eat something, if someone offers us something, we re reach out to one another. So that's been a tremendous, tremendous support to me. So, um, five-day pouch test. If you don't know what the five-day pouch test is, I'll put a link below um, when I post, hopefully, um, if I recall to, yeah, I'll try. If not, I'm just going to tell you where to find it, www.5daypouchtest.com. It's not that difficult. Uh, if you click on the link on the right-hand side, it'll say the plan. Click there. You don't have to order the book. It'll just tell you what the plan is. Basically, what it is, is... Uh, this teaches you how to go back to basics. It teaches you to go back to basics because that's what we're all about. Um, it is the first two days of liquids. Uh, it'll give you the approved list of liquids. Um, third day, you move on to soft food. Fourth day, you start uh, adding some items in. And day five. This is the only part I read of day five. Steak. This is a bitch having bison steak tonight, just saying. Um, it has decreased or eliminated the need for carbs and sugar. Um, it has made me become more in tune with my pouch and my soft stops, my signals, and what exactly I need um, for my band. So, um, yeah, um, 
maybe a little bit of TMI for y'all, but it's also um, pretty much cleaned out my system of all that junk that might have been building up and making me bloated. So, here's the tune of what I've lost so far this week. That would be 5.5 pounds. So technically, it's only 2.5 because I gained 3 pounds last week, but you know what? I'm going to take it and run with it. Really, just all it is. Um, it is what it is what it is. Then we move forward. So... Um, what have I done this week besides five day pouch test? I've really started to research my surgery again and reread a lot of the things that I read in that first year when I lost a hundred pounds in seven months and gotten back in touch with what I'm supposed to be doing and what I'm not supposed to have in my life. Um, not stupid kids three and a half years out uh, I pretty much know that candy cookies ice cream don't cut it um so yeah what is this car following me for um okay here there you go you got to hear the uh, oh there's a police officer down there arresting someone else <laughs> setting the uh, detector off like crazy. Um, so yeah, cookies, candies, ice cream, all of those things gotta go. Um, my most difficult time is work. You know, we have this kitchen full of snacks. Um, my boss still feels the need to supply everyone with those snacks. Um, Cause here's the thing. He's into health and nutrition, so he really doesn't go in there. They're not a temptation for him. He goes in and gets um, a cliff bar, maybe. So, yeah, those are my major tempting uh, things. So, trying my best to stay away from those, trying to fill that uh, void, trying to figure out the emotion behind why I want a certain food. Um, trying to figure out, get in touch again with my trigger food, trying to, um, just read a lot of things to help me, um, devise a plan going forward to get this weight back off. Um, and, you know, basically getting back to basics because that's what it's all about. Um... So yeah, uh, a little bit frightened of going into next week, not having the strict rules of the five-day pouch test to keep me in check, and but also with the knowledge that hello, there are there are these ten little rules after you're banded that you need to follow. So maybe you should start following those. What a shock! interesting thing that I read this week was if we recall, and I don't know if anyone else's surgeon told them this, but I do recall my nutritionist telling us this, that you should just eat within 15 minutes time because it, it's the 20 minutes that you're, it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to send your brain a signal to tell yourself you're full. So it, you need to be done within 15 minutes. I think it was something else already like 15 minutes to a half hour to get that signal so you don't miss that signal and continue to overeat and eat beyond what your pouch can hold another thing I read was about how some of us make our food too moist and therefore it slides through our pouch <coughs> sorry about that I'm praying to God I'm not getting what Tony's got um so, yeah, some of us make our food too moist, therefore it slides right through our stomas and it doesn't keep us full like it should, and then we continue to eat. So that means, you know, be careful of how much mayo or mustard or condiment sauce you put in your salad, your tuna, your, 
you know, I've seen some pictures lately of people who are cutting up, be it chicken or sausages or hot dogs, which I'm really confused why you people are eating hot dogs, and then drowning it in ranch. Really? Really? What are you still eating ranch for is my other question. Um... I guess it's just me jealous because I can't eat hot dogs or sausages with a skin on it because the skin won't go down my stoma. So if you're eating some of that stuff and you're having some stuck episodes, that could be why. It's the skin. Um, other than that, I'm just trying to stick to getting my water down. I'm trying, trying to not have as much caffeine. Um, that means I get my cup of Earl in the morning. Um, some of you have seen my travel mug, my Bubba travel mug. It's, I don't, I think it's bigger than 16 ounce. I think it's 20 ounce. Um, I drink that in the morning on the way to work. And, um, I'm trying to switch to a decaffeinated tea. If I do have tea once I do get to work. Um, other than that, I've just been drinking water and occasionally I have to throw a drop in yeah, that's the word I'm looking for and you can tell I'm still a little bit tired so really I think that's all I have to say um I think I don't think I feel like I'm being choked I have a hoodie on and I I'm see I have my Chicago hoodie on actually and I feel like I'm I'm being choked. And yes, I am going into the office with a hoodie on. Um, it's casual Friday peeps. And um, it's noon. I'm betting I'm going to walk in this office and probably be one of three people who are here. Um, in the world of mortgage banking, we have this thing on Friday called group therapy. Um, what group therapy consists of is everybody meets down the street at GC's which is a um, bar, and uh, we sit and bitch about a week. <laughs> that, my friends, is called group therapy. My bosses leave one by one, one after the other, because they think that we don't know that they all go together. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm guessing they're all at group therapy. On a Friday, they go out to lunch. They usually don't come back. But you know what? They're the big bosses, and they're the owners, and they make the big bucks, so they can do what they want. So that's all I have to say, and, um, yeah. Peace out. Talk to you guys next week.